I like Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, there are lots of good ones. When you first go vegan but aren't sure how. Yeah, that is very good. It does, there is a little bit of a learning curve on going vegan for sure. There's a bit of a learning curve. You do have to learn a few new things, but it really isn't as hard as I expected it to be. It really isn't. That is a really good meme though. I love that. I'm gonna put that in A tier as well, I think. Oh, I haven't, I don't know this meme format. This is good. When someone says, so are you still a vegan or have you quit? Do you think this is a game? Yeah, absolutely. The important thing to note about veganism is that it is a lifestyle choice. It is not a diet. People in the vegan community, they really wanna draw a distinction between the diet, a thing that you can try a diet for six months or even a year, you can try it and then you can try a different diet. You could move on to a paleo diet or a keto diet, I don't know. That's not what veganism is about. Veganism is a lifestyle choice. It's a mode of ethics. It's living in accordance with your core belief. And that core belief is that you should not cause unnecessary abuse to animals. That includes hurting them during their life. And it includes prematurely taking their life from them when they don't want to die. That is what veganism really is about. If that is a good one. I'm gonna put that in B tier. I think that is really important. That's an important one. It's not a game to me. It's not a diet. It's not some frivolous fancy that I do just for fun or as a hobby or something. This is very core to who I am and my beliefs and I will never go back. I'm saying this here on this video for documentation. I will never go back. Never. Anyway, back to the memes. Oh, <laughs> again, I've never seen this meme format, but this is ingenious. I had to really lean in to see what was being written on that, but it's so true. This is one of the best rebuttals. It's not the best rebuttal, but it's one of the best rebuttals for when someone tells you that plants have feelings. The reason I say this isn't the best rebuttal for this argument is because in order to say this as a rebuttal, you, you would have to first accept that plants have feelings, which they don't. Plants have no evolutionary need or cause to feel pain. They just do not have it in their anatomy or biology. They might have a reactionary response to something, and that would be akin to having melanin in your skin, which changes color, when exposed to sunlight. This can be explained to you by any kind of classroom biology teacher, a teacher that teaches maybe kindergartens and up, they will be able to explain this to you. So maybe if you are really concerned that plants feel pain, maybe you can just walk yourself to a nearby a local school and ask one of the teachers at your local school to explain to you why plants don't feel pain in the same way that sentient animals do. I don't mean to condescend when saying that, but it's just true. So anyway, this is a good meme. I really like Winona Ryder's eye contact with this one. Yeah, I'll put it at S tier, why not? I think I have to. Oh, this is nice, a nice little simple meme. When a stranger orders the vegan option, nice. That's a nice little relatable one for vegans. And I even know non-vegans who are still like, oh, nice, you're a vegan, that's really cool. You're a thoughtful person. You have morals that you stick to, you have values. So this is a very basic one though, it's very simple. I'll put it in B tier. Oh, this is good. One week into being vegan. Six months into being a vegan activist and realizing humanity is doomed. Yeah, honestly guys, I'm gonna be real with you for a second. It's dark, it's dark. When you realize the paradigm that we're living in, when you realize all the suffering that's involved in every single meat eater's meal, it changes you. It's a loss of innocence and it's changed me. I find this one very relatable. I'm gonna put this in A tier, A tier, because I can relate, unfortunately. And this is why I'm on the internet looking at memes, just to lift my spirits a little bit. Me explaining how you can still build muscle on a plant-based diet. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> How did they get that picture? It looks like there's no screen there. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. I haven't lost all my muscle. It's still here, still looking fine. I haven't lost any weight, so it's all good. Oh, wow, I think I found a really bad one. <laughs> if vegans love animals so much, why do they eat all their food? That is very bad, wow. It's almost so stupid, I don't even know how to respond to it. We force feed them. We feed them masses and masses of grain and soy and other crops to bulk them up so that we can kill them and eat them. Eating plants directly involves none of that. 
Um, it's more efficient as well, it's more effective for land use because essentially we just eat the plants directly instead of feeding them to animals and then eating the animals. So it's better for the planet, it's better for the environment, it's less resource intensive, uh, it's better for our health as well. I can't really debunk this one without just starting from scratch and explaining the whole reason someone would become vegan because it's so bad at understanding what veganism is. Now down below D tier in F tier here, we've got two F tier ones here. Oh, this one's quite good. When you were dead, but someone commented that you died because you were vegan. <laughs> Sorry, it's so blurry. <laughs> Vegans aren't made immortal. If a vegan dies, people will say that's because they're vegan. Even in cases where they manage to extend that by five to seven years by going on a vegan diet, they're still criticized for dying on a vegan diet. You just can't win with these people. I'm gonna put it in C tier. Oh, that's so cute. I love baby lambs. Baby lambs are really adorable. This is the best lamb recipe I know. Take one lamb, rescue her, let her live out her life happy and free hell yeah i agree so we have like animal sanctuaries here across the uk and the us and i think there probably are in australia as well and other parts of the world these are where escaped farm animals can just live out their days in happiness they're not expected to do anything they're just there they've made it they're free and i think that's a really beautiful thing that people are doing if you want to check out a youtube channel that's about these refuges in the us there's a beautiful youtube channel called the gentle barn and it's really wholesome footage they rescue as many farm animals as they possibly can and just give them beautiful lives. Those farm animals also educate children that have been the victims of domestic abuse and it's just one of the most beautiful YouTube channels I've ever come across. This is a great meme. I think this is really nice, really wholesome. It does raise questions though, because some people do say, what if we snapped our fingers and we all stopped eating meat and stopped using animals? What would happen to the animals? Could we just let them run free? And of course, this is preposterous because there's no scenario where everyone just automatically stops being vegan. It's going to be a gradual shift, but it will happen. It will shift. And basically we do it slowly. First of all, we breed less. We breed less and less every year. As the demand for meat and dairy goes down, there will be less animals that will be forcibly bred to produce more animals, okay? So this happens over years. This is gonna happen over years. It's a long process to change the industry that we have from animal agriculture agriculture to plant agriculture and we can do it we can do it very easily we also have websites I, there's a website I'll link in the description that helps farmers transition from animal agriculture to plant agriculture there's some experts that can help with that if you are a farmer so that's a good meme it raises good questions and it's also very cute this is a pretty silly one how does a vegetarian know that their plant-based meat tastes like real meat when they don't eat meat that's because most of the time, like there's very few ve vegans that have grown up only eating plant food. Most vegans are born into the way of life where they eat meat just like everyone else. For the majority of my life, I was eating meat and dairy just like everyone else. And then I began to question those beliefs and that's what eventually turned me into a vegan. And most vegans will tell you the same thing, that they weren't born into veganism. It's only a very small number of people in the world, probably, who are actually born as vegans. Even though, medically speaking, the scientific consensus is that veganism is suitable for all walks of life, including babies, including toddlers and the elderly. So that that is a bit of a silly question. And I think with just a bit of thinking, they would come to the right conclusion by the themselves, but instead they decided to make a meme about it. Oh, look at that. Yikes. Yeah, that really makes you think, doesn't it? It does for me. So most sausages are made from pork, but they're called hot dogs. So for a few years ago, I would have seen this meme and just laughed at the kind of pun of it. Oh, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. So it's in a, do it's in a bun, a little puppy. But now that I'm on the other side, I just find it dark because in the pork industry, there are a lot of baby pigs being neglected and dying on these farms. For the sow, the mother pig, the sow, they are kept in a very cramped condition where because they're genetically modified to grow massively in size and be really overweight, they will accidentally crush their own piglets. And then those piglets are just left out there to die by themselves, to starve if they're the runts of the litter to be starved by malnutrition. If you want more information on that, you can look up Dominion online. If you're brave enough, check out Dominion and have a look for yourself. 
that is standardized procedure in the UK, in the US. This would have just been very benign if I'd seen it back when I was not thinking about this stuff, but nowadays it's pretty dark, I would say. I'll put that in D tier because I don't have room in the others. I think we're going to have to wrap up very soon. <laughs> 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 so this is actually, this is not a joke. The dairy industry really is trying to pass this law where you're not allowed to call it plant milk, you have to call it a plant drink. And this is because obviously they feel very threatened by veganism. It's not only that they feel threatened, they actually are threatened. The world is changing. People are waking up. This is a growing movement that's not going to stop. It's not gonna get smaller. And it's pretty hilarious to me that they think that this will actually make a difference in their campaign, that they're gonna be able to like coax vegans back to drinking dairy, drinking cow milk. I think that it's an act of desperation by the dairy industry. So if you think about it, if they're trying to control the word milk, then the law would also have to change things like peanut butter. They would not be able to call it peanut butter. They'd have to call it something like peanut paste because peanut butter does not contain any butter in it typically. I don't really like the censorship of these words, like trying to control what words are used when really you just wanna effectively communicate what that product is, what that product tastes like. If it tastes exactly like milk, then why not be able to just call it milk? That's what it tastes like. That's what it's used for. It's used as a substitute exactly like how you would use cow's milk. You could just use oat milk instead and no animal had to suffer and die for it. This is meme definitely belongs in S tier very funny and it gives me hope as well so i think that's a good one to end it on so thank you very much for watching this i wonder if you agree with me with the memes hopefully you enjoyed this video and had a laugh with me with this and also maybe learn something about vegans and the vegan experience the vegan movement and you can watch my other videos if you want to know some more serious things about veganism thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye